For this video we're going to talk a little bit about furniture schedules. So I'm going to scroll down here to my sheets and let's take a look at the furniture plan sheet. So this has the furniture plan placed on it and then it has a schedule um, that divides it up by beds, chairs, and uh, tables. And then here's a schedule that just kind of has it all linked out. And you can also see that there are some things here that aren't completely filled out, <clears throat> right? So the DWG poof that I put in here, the entertainment system, the uh, uh, imported DWG. So we'll take a look at sort of how to go in and create these furniture schedules, okay? So <clears throat> I'll just go ahead and close this guy down. And what you'll do is, I mean, get your furniture in and get it tagged. You know, you don't have to have it all tagged, but, you know, at least have some idea of where the tagging is going to occur, right? So in furniture, right, typically you're going to set the tag name at the type mark right here. Um, in simpler versions, you'll go to edit type and it'll be this type mark right here, right? So there's the type mark. And that's where you'll set your mark and then you'll come in and go to annotate and tag by category and tag the furniture in here. Um, if you need some help with your tags let me know and I'll be happy to help you out with that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and create the furniture schedule now. So I'll go to my view tab and go to schedules, schedules and quantities and um, I'll just go down and get furniture, All right? So the furniture, click OK. And it's going to do two because I already have one and that's fine. And then it's going to ask you what you want in your furniture schedule. So um, I'll go ahead and let's scroll down and we'll get the, comp the count, right? And you can see there's quite a bit quite a few options in here and some of them have been brought in by um, the furniture that you that has been loaded. So I'm going to come down and get the type mark, right? And maybe the manufacturer, right? And you can see there's two manufacturer names and that's because one of the families has brought that in. It's very annoying. So if you do manufacturer name, manufacturer name, um, you get those guys. Um, let's just do family and type. So I'll go get the family and then I'll go get the type as well. And you see there's two types, right? And then um, let's go ahead and move the type mark up to the top and then we'll move the family next to it and then we'll do the type type and see what comes up. A lot of these duplicates are from the again from the manufacturers. Um, I want the family above the types so and the count may be at the end. All right and then I'll click OK and you'll see this type it's from this furniture sofa, right? They brought in an extra type so you can see that here and we don't really need that first type. So I'm just going to go to fields and I'm just going to delete that guy or move it over and it'll get rid of that. And then you'll see the manufacturer name here. Um, it looks like the easy wood chair brought in an extra manufacturer name. So it could be annoying. Um, it could be, um, but you can see the type marks here. Um, and then I'll just get rid of this first manufacturer name and we'll use this guy. So if I go to edit and we'll get rid of this manufacturer name and click OK. And then <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll go in and in the next video we'll go in and start dividing this up and rearranging it. You know, making it a little neater um, so you can read it, talk about how to sort things differently. And one thing I think I will put in, I'll add, uh, let's go to the fields and let's add, let's see, image. I'm going to add the image at the beginning. So I'll add that guy in there too. Click OK. All right. And then we'll close this guy up. And um, 
actually won't close it. I'll stop the video and come back and do um, one more version.